Hi everyone, my name is Basim Zahili and today I'll be talking about what stocks or industries to avoid during these uncertain and kind of exciting times. I know I said my next video will be about dividend investing and dividend reinvesting, but um, I've been getting a lot of questions from friends, families, and colleagues about what industries or what stocks to buy into, but I thought I'd make this video about what to avoid. Before we get into that, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and remember to turn on the notification bell. So, stocks I would avoid. The first one, and I've been getting asked this a couple of times, would I recommend buying funeral home stocks? I don't care how bad this illness gets, just morally, I'm not going to be touching funeral home stocks. Just for my sanity and to be able to sleep at night, I'm not going to be banking that more people will die and that this illness will get worse. To me, if you're investing in these stocks, obviously I, I know what you want to happen. You want, indirectly, you're asking, you know, this illness to get worse, more people to die. Funeral homes make more money and then eventually you'll make more money. If that's your thing, go for it. Uh, I know I'm not going to be doing it. I'm not going to be, uh, I think I read this article about a couple in BC. They bought all these Lysol wipes and quadrupled the price just to take advantage of everyone. It's, it's just not my thing. Another stock I'm not touching, cruise ship stocks. Uh, the, the one I've been asked about the most is Carnival Corp or CCL on the US, on a US stock exchange if you want to take a look. Even though this company is the biggest in the industry, by far, I think they're the biggest by a factor of two. It's too uncertain for me at this point, and I feel like it's too uncertain for anyone. Look at their dividend at this point. It's over 11%. The stock is down 58% over the last 30 days alone. It seems tempting to buy the dip. It makes sense, right? The stock is down, you think it'll do well, so buy when it's low, sell when it's high. We all know this. But if you look at this yield, does it seem sustainable? Take a look at what happened during the last recession to Carnival Corp, CCL. In 2008, they paid a dividend of $1.60 per share. In 2009, they stopped paying dividends altogether. This is massive. In, in 2010, they came back and started paying some dividends at $0.40 cents per share. Since then, the, the stock in the company has obviously built back up, but remember when a company cuts their dividend, their stock price takes a massive hit as well. I'm not trying to make a bigger deal about this illness than the media, than I feel the media already has, but what if this lasts a few more weeks, a few more months, what if it goes into 2020? Can CCL, Carnival Corp, last that long? If so, can they recover? It's all too uncertain and volatile for me at this point. It's a little too early in the game to tell. So with all this said, either avoid completely or avoid for now. Continuing on this trend of uncertainty, Delta Airlines or DAL, D-A-L, the, on the US Stock Exchange and let's talk about Air Canada AC on the Toronto Stock Exchange. I know it might be exciting to get these stocks at a 50%, some of them are over at a 50% discount, Again, it's too early to tell. How long will this last? Will travel bans last a few months longer? Would it go into the fall? Would it go into 2021? This, th that's, that stresses me out. One of the riskiest things an investor could do is buy a stock during a massive amount of institutional sell-off, which is what is happening to Delta Airlines and Air Canada at this point. Delta is now paying a pretty respectable dividend, uh, over 4%, I believe. But if this prolongs and the stock gets deeper in the hole, the, there's more travel bans, the cash isn't coming in, this might get cut or suspended until everything picks back up. Even worse, Air Canada doesn't even pay a dividend, so you don't really get rewarded for waiting. What worries me the most about Air Canada is they filed for bankruptcy or bankruptcy, bankruptcy protection a few years after the last recession their stock tanked to around 80 cents. But will this happen again? Have they planned for this? How are their cash reserves? It's all too uncertain. It's why I'm avoiding airlines for now. I, I would like to ride it out and see what happens if this lasts a few more months. If we hear there's a cure, maybe everything will bottom out. We'll hit that trough that I was talking about in the last video. It might be, a, it might be good to revisit in a few weeks time. That's all for now. This is one of my shorter videos, thankfully. 
I know my dividend investing video is already queued up and ready to go for this week. I might make another emergency, uh, oh my god, what should I do video, but no promises.